Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome back. One of the best ways to celebrate Easter is with a delicious meal with seasonal fixings. Impress your guests with a delightful meal that is sure to have them hopping out of their seats. Oh, yep, here every day at 11. I went there. <laughs> Lifestyle, the one. That's right. Lifestyle <laughs> expert Mandy Landefeld is here with an incredible spread that is not only delicious, she says it's easy to put together. I don't do it if it's complicated. <laughs> right. I, she I doesn't. Don't. But I do want like big, huge, huge flavor, and that's what we've got for everyone today. Okay, okay. good. First so up. First, you know, nothing says Easter like a ham. A ham is perfect, yes. and it's really easy, and it's something you can just pick up at the market. So right. they have the spiral sliced hams that always come with that little glaze packet yeah and we're gonna actually use it but we're gonna jazz it up with the Ooh. most amazing bourbon apricot glaze Yum. to go on your hand so it looks so fancy uh -huh. but really it's just one it's step. super easy okay. so you've got your apricot jam let's go over our ingredients real quick so we've got apricot jam I use fresh thyme. I use a really beautiful stone ground mustard. But if you have Dijon or whatever, use any mustard you've got in your fridge, just not yellow mustard. Okay. And then I keep that spice mix for the glaze and I put it all into a pot along with some bourbon. Yeah. Ooh. And so we have, I know. Look at how thick this and is. And I've reduced it down and it's beautiful. It takes just a few minutes to do. It's really, really easy. And I want you to go ahead and give Ooh. our um, our hammy, a little Ooh. hammy, and it smells. a little brush. Doesn't it smell good? Amazing. I mean, so good. And then, oh my gosh, it's delicious. And I have a little sample oranges. for you to try too. I know. And I love the apricot. It gives it a nice tang, but it also pairs perfectly with the okay. bourbon. If you had peach, you could totally use peach. Whatever you got, but it's just a gentle look. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, I'm going to do it, mine. Douse it, douse it. And it's right. so good for, like, you could have extra of this and make a beautiful brie ham and that glaze grilled oh. cheese later after. Ooh, that's a yum, great yum, idea. Yum. Okay, next up, of okay. course, we need our veggies. Yeah, but we again, have to have green beans are so good. You're going to elevate so yummy. Them. Right, and so the first step is to mm. blanch your green beans. So that means just shocking it. Isn't that yummy? So good. Yeah, really yummy. Oh and there's God. a lot of flavor in that glaze. Wow. So first you're going to shock your green beans and that just means you put them in a pot of boiling salted water and then you take them out and put them in an ice bath of also salted water and we want flavor to go into our green beans when they're boiling for just a minute or right. two and we also want them to go and have some flavor when they get shocked because when they shock they're gonna go and, and they're gonna suck, suck up, up that flavory water we've okay. done that before right yes and so all I have here is I've crumbled up some bacon too but I have made a gorgeous maple bacon and shallot vinaigrette. Oh my goodness. Like, so with the bacon, I've got some of the bacon fat. I've used that as my oil. Here's our ingredient list. So we've got bacon and we've got shallots and beautiful maple syrup. And all this stuff goes into making this dressing. And I want you to go ahead, we're gonna take our green beans and got we're gonna it. go ahead and just drizzle it all over. All I mean, look, everything is better with bacon, so I'm just good. saying, but so that looks good. incredible. Now, I noticed that you also have pomegranate seeds as well. Tell me right. about that. Right, so we're gonna put some pecans on our, our green beans. Go ahead and just pop that on there, and I'm gonna finish it also with some orange zest, because I think that makes it so bright and so delicious. What a beautiful, look at me. But if you had a nut allergy, or didn't want to use nuts, or just want to actually add to it too, you could put some beautiful pomegranate seeds, and that would give it some crunch. Okay, so we have and the sweet. Yeah. The savory, yep. and of course you're getting your veggies. Right, so. so you can either do only pomegranate if you don't want to do nuts, or add them in also if you want to. Okay, I'm so excited about these. I saw these when she brought them in, and she said, you're going to love them even more okay. because they have a kick. Drew was ready to eat them at breakfast when I was prepping to come to the oh, show like, today. No. He's like, I'm like, no, no, no. Save them for He's Christine. like, you better come back with some, though, because yes. these are his absolute favorite. And mine, too, because I am a little bit of a sriracha addict. Me, too. I love the stuff. I do. I put it on everything. I have two big yeah. tubs of it. Yeah. I just got it's on so Amazon. Good. Thank you okay. so much. So all you do is go ahead and boil up your eggs, and then you're going to peel them. And I find it easier to peel them when you've shocked them in, in some ice water and you use running water or something right. to go ahead and get them out. But you can do that part the day before, and make sure you do plenty, because sometimes they're a little hard to peel, and you want right. to make sure you have pretty ones. Okay. So do extra when you're doing this recipe. Good so tip. our ingredient list here is eggs and sriracha and mayo. And if you need to use low fat, you can, but my house, uh, we just use regular. I know. And lemon zest, which gives it that brightness, because you know I love the citrus. Like, right. I'm, I love it. So what I've got for you here, we've gone ahead and made our filling, and I want you to pipe it into the middle. Got and it. I just use a Ziploc bag. 
I just cut the end of it off. You don't need to have anything fancy. And see, she's getting a perfect little piping that oh, looks very oh. fancy the whole time. How about time. that? Yeah. How about that? Top it with a piece of bacon, which oh I bake gosh. my bacon in the oven. I, I like to bake mine in the I oven do. too. I do. It, it lets the house not totally I get know. transformed by having bacon everywhere. And I just think it's a better thing. And then we're gonna finish it with a little bit of parsley just parsley right at the end. Because I love that little pop of green. Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right, so grab I can't wait one. to try. Let's give it Drew, a try. Drew, I won't eat them all, <laughs> but uh, gotta try it at least. Mm -hmm. And that kick. Wow. Can you taste the kick? So good. Oh my gosh. I know, it's so good. Are we gonna put these recipes? Let's put yeah. them on our Facebook page, Trent. These, these are so are good. Killer. And you have to make a lot because they will be gone in like 10 seconds. So, so good. And mm -hmm. last but not least, the perfect drink. Okay. And Tell we did not this. do a boozy one this time, but you can make it. I know. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. So, you can make it boozy. In fact, I think I got a bottle of bourbon sitting around here somewhere. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, I made a beautiful spice Texas tea. I came uh, up to this when I was living back in Texas when Jeff was on the Navy base. And it is a spiced iced tea that you make um, in your pot with cloves and cinnamon and I use loose tea but if you don't have loose tea you can use just the big bags of iced tea Amazing. you know tea bags and you go ahead and steep your tea with fresh ginger and cloves and cinnamon and nutmeg this is good and then you strain it and and this is this is going a little old school but all you do is mix in some lemonade concentrate and orange juice concentrate cheers this is incredible isn't it yummy and of course she added if you do want to make it boozy <sighs> throw in some bourbon right oh my we actually are doing virgin versions today mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. Delicious. I think it's very good for, for Easter. Very good. Yeah. Light and refreshing. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much. So and good. you're sticking around for Real Talk, right? Oh, I wouldn't miss it. All right. For more on these great recipes, please visit Mandy's website. She has a wealth of information. She is so incredible. It's sumptuousliving.net. Sumptuousliving.net. Cheers you. again. Cheers. Oh, really good. So good. I know.